Well, here we are. This is the third video in the series of Finding the Church of the Holy Sepulchre with your host and tour guide, Steve Martin. If you've seen the first two, we got lost. But I'm thankful that they put up these new signs. I hadn't seen those before, which helps us get to your destination. And here we are. We are entering into the Holy Sepulchre outpost. Go through these gates and look to the right. Whoa! Imagine what it'd be like when it's busy. We'll just stop right here, catch our breath. If you see that ladder up there, it's been there 400 years. From what the professional tour guides have told me on my many tour trips, due to the fact that several churches <laughs> reside in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, none of them can decide on who actually will move that ladder. And so it sits. There's another tidbit for you, these gates, doors, are open morning, each morning. Well, a member of a Muslim family, and they've been doing it for centuries. Just one of those things. So here we are inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. These ones are going up to what is believed to be the crucifixion site. We'll do that. And over there is a tomb site. But first to the right. Follow the crowd. The thing about recording video, it's kind of hard to take a still shot. But later I can capture those. So we'll stick with the video. The place is fairly good size. I would imagine it's close to a couple centuries old at least. kind of shaky going up these stairs, so bear with me. My knees are 63 years old. Not as old as this church. We have two lines here. One line over there will go actually by the spot. You can kneel down, put your hand through a hole, similar to the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. Same thing. Well, it is very good to see that so many people are interested in knowing where Jesus was crucified. Yeah, 
they all come to know him as their personal Lord and Savior. We're going over here, it's a very narrow stairway going down. So we'll kind of push forward. Get a view from the top here. picture of my feet where I stand. Proves I was there. There are several ways we could go. Let's do this one. Not this crowded. <clears throat> Down here it's believed the spot where Jesus was temporarily um, housed before he was taken to the cross. Some more stairs. Notice in the wall all these crosses. They've been there for years. I wish she spoke English, then we'd know what was going on here. But we'll follow. I'm sure you'll recognize this is a Catholic church. All the altars, candles. I was raised Catholic. Tell you what, I'm not going down there. Let's turn around. Go back up the stairs. And we'll take you the back way. Говорят, в этот день она почувствовала что-то. И она стоит You say if you go counterclockwise, you'll have less activity. Seems to be holding true. All these specific altars. People are coming to pray. Sepulcher. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> oh, I just came that way. Oh, well. We'll obey. Aha, uh -huh, let's follow these guys. There we go. Here it is. 
as in most Catholic traditional places. Every holy spot that's Saint Anne, mother of Constantine, believed to have come here and said this is it. Well, they built a church over it. And as you can see, there is a line. We're not getting in it. But we'll walk we'll around it. <clears throat> I wonder if these doors are confessionals. And as I said, I was raised Catholic. We went into the confessional on a regular basis, confessed our sins to the priest, received forgiveness, according to them. Said three Our Fathers and five Hail Marys. And back at it 